Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at using One Step and Magic iDVD to quickly create DVDs. So iDVD is a great tool for creating DVDs, but there are a lot of features and a pretty steep learning curve. So if you want to create a DVD very quickly, there are two options in iDVD that you should know about. So first let's talk about One Step DVD. Now there are two different types. The One Step DVD that's a button right here is not the one we're going to use. If you go to File and you look under One Step DVD, there's two of them. This one, the first one here, will actually create a DVD by importing the video and then directly creating a DVD from that. We're going to assume we already have the video imported and we have it as a file and we just want to burn that file to a DVD. We're going to choose One Step DVD from Movie here. So the result is I get just a simple open dialog box and I can select a single video. So I'll select this one and click on import and what's going to happen is it'll just ask me to insert a recordable DVD and we'll burn that DVD. It'll do all the steps needed to create a DVD. So it's the quickest way to create a DVD from a single video. Now Magic iDVD, which I can choose here or I can simply go to File, Magic iDVD, will allow me to basically quickly create a DVD by giving it a title, choosing a theme. I can choose from all the different themes available. And then I can just drag and drop movies. I've actually got some on the finder here. I'm going to drag and drop three movies right there. I can also use the Movies Browser here to look for things uh, in my iMovie libraries and uh, photos. I can add photos down here to create slideshows and then I can preview the project right there. I can also turn it into a regular iDVD project or I can simply burn it directly here from Magic iDVD by clicking down here. So if I were to preview it, it will create the project first and it may take a little bit. And then I get to look at it here in the preview window. I can go to Movies and Slideshows. You can see it basically just threw it together as simply as it could using the file names as titles and the basic menu structure from that theme. Another handy thing I want to point out is in Magic iDVD there's not much you can do as far as using the standard menus but if you create a standard project it converts the entire thing to a standard iDVD project. Now you can do really cool things like saving the DVD out as a disk image to make multiple copies rather than burning a single DVD. Uh, and also of course you can access the full menu structure and make changes as you wish. So Magic iDVD is not only a great way to quickly put together a DVD but it's also a really good way to start building an iDVD project even if you plan on customizing it later. Hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.